Well, I'm having to retire the Toyota today. <sighs> this has been a great vehicle. Thanks to my wonderful in-laws, Art and Iris, they gave us this van quite a few years ago. And then it was handed down to me when we got our newer van. <laughs> and I was going to drive this forever. It has 315,920 kilometers on it. Uh, it runs like a top. But unfortunately, it's time to send her packing. I'm sure I'm going to regret this. So long, Toyota Sienna. You have a fun factor of zero, but a practicality factor of 25. I will miss you. Cut, cut. <laughs>
Yeah. My luck, it had bounced and bounced again and then went in somebody's windshield, caused an accident. So I decided I better throw in the garbage. <laughs> Thanks, Willie. I'm actually on my way to Willie's shop right now because my power divider is uh, buggered up. And he's going to rip that thing off there for me and I'm going to take it to Aero Truck Parts uh, first thing Monday morning and get that sorted out. <sighs> it's a beautiful sunny day. It's Friday. Not quite sure how I'm going to get back from Willie's house. He lives two hours from my house. But hey, we'll figure it out. <laughs> there is Willie under my truck again. Willie is taking off my power divider. I tell you what that is, but I don't know either. It's the thingy on, on the front of the thingy that makes the thingy switch from the thingy to the thingy. Is that pretty much right, Will? Yes, sir. <laughs> so what is a power divider, Will? Power divider splits the power between this one here, splits the power between the front axle and the back axle, drive axles. Okay. And then you have another power divider on each axle that splits the power between the wheels. Side oh. to side. Which one do you think is broken? The one dividing the power between the axles. Okay. Because today I was heavy. I moved um, 45,000 pound plates and uh, I locked it up and it was like there was nothing wrong at all. Yeah, see that, that's when your inner axle power divider is worn out. Okay. You get a lot of play in there and it starts getting a lot of whiplash in between there. Yeah. And you get the clunking, so okay. it feels like there's something loose that kind of clunks back and forth. The moment of truth is gonna be when you pull that out and you'll know whether or not the, yeah. you'll know whether or not the uh, rear end is screwed too, right? Yep. Oh, I hope it isn't. Cause that's a lot more money. That becomes about five grand. Oh jeez. Five grand. I hope it is a five. Nah. As far as I can feel, it's just a power divider. Yeah. That would be good. Oh yeah, you see it coming apart now. Yeah, I need another screwdriver. Oh, these don't fall apart. Yeah, it's just done. You can tell it's been banging quite a bit. And there's the good doctor showing us what's what here. See all the shiny spots? That's that's what that means? Okay. It's been knocking on it. It looks like there's a little some wear there on that gear. Right, give me that hammer for a bit. Can I help, Will? Uh, hold on just a little bit. Right here because that's where the stud is at. There we go. It looks like he's got it. Oh, never seen inside of that before. This looks like like the inside of a skeleton of your body. Stuff you're not supposed to see. <laughs> <laughs> that? That's your power divider right here. This piece right here. That's the power divider. Right there? Yep. That's it, eh? See these here? That's not supposed to do that, eh? So that's definitely wear there. That's loose. Okay, now I'm gonna... So what's behind there, Will? Okay. That one does not... Oh, this one's supposed to come up too. And there is a ring gear. Okay. Is that part of the power divider? This part right here is part of the power divider. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Right. See how this is loose now? Yeah. This gear here yep. runs the front axle. Okay. Because it goes to this gear. Okay. And then the power divider goes on. And then this gear goes on. This one drives the back axle. And that's all part of the power divider right there? This is what the power divider looks like. So that's what a power divider looks like. Right there. Looks like a fancy meat grinder. Shoot. So what will they replace? Well, the insides of, the, of that main uh, center piece between the gears. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Looking at this. Yeah. Yeah, your power divider. It's, it's not like crazy bad. Is it not as bad as I thought it was? Yeah. So what I could do, I could take the shims out. Yeah. There's shims here. Yeah. But this bearing is gone on it too. Yeah. So you need to replace that bearing. Okay. Yeah. But this bearing is is going up and down. Yeah. The bearing is so loose. That makes everything else loose. Makes it really which clunk. Create a big whiplash inside. What's there. making that clunk? Because it felt yep. like it felt like the fifth wheel was loose, didn't it? Yep. Can you we'll just turn some of this other way? Now I want you to turn that wheel. It's jacked up. Yeah. Go ahead, turn. Keep going. Keep going. I might have lost my watch in there. <laughs> Are you looking for broken pieces? Yeah, bro broken teeth. That rain gear looks beautiful. Oh, that's that is that, beautiful. That's a good sign. That's very good, very good. Okay, okay, that's good. See this? Yeah. Look at how little play there is. That's and good. The other, the other one, you had this much play. Clunk, clunk. That gear right there. Yeah. Is your ring gear. And okay. If you, if that, if these shims around here get too thin. Yeah. You create play in here, which also create a swing point for hammering and keep bouncing back and creating more whiplash inside the drive line. Okay. Which you got none basically there. And okay. you want a little bit because if it's too tight, it'll wear the bearings up way too quick. Okay. So you want it a little loose, which this one here is perfect. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna touch any of that. Okay. He'll take everything apart and press everything that needs to be replaced back on there. Yeah. And it'll come back like that. Just like that. And I'll take and put it back in there like that. Sweet. This gear here goes on top of that ring there. That's between the bearing. Like right here? Yeah. Okay. And this does, it slides into here, mm -hmm. which now this axle is locked. Constant power going to it. Okay. It doesn't divide it anymore. So when, we, when I flip that switch, does that mean this spring locks these two together yep okay so now you have constant power from here going to this one yep and the back one is also locked up because now it won't let this one divide power anymore the tricky part is getting this all back in there <laughs> my buddy taught me this yep and i did the same thing with my first truck yeah i thought i wasn't gonna make it very far and i was doing heavy haul yeah and uh, we did the same thing we got it before it got worse and I was glad I did. It made a huge difference. Wow. I'm very relieved. He knows exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. And uh, he'll hook you up. Sweet.